we're gonna do is put these together. Everything else is fine. Oh, it's get stuck together. Okay, so I plugged in my thing into the main hub. So hopefully, very sad about how my NACA turned out. Random was not kind to me. It's only here it's it's good, and then here it's it's just all wobbly. So if I take a picture of it, I have to be very careful. Okay, uh, first let's grab one of the hard resins. Not too hard to handle. I accidentally used the wrong resin for this figure anyway. we go and hopefully this cures a lot faster now that's plugged into the main hub nope It is curing. Curing it does remain an issue. Sometimes it uh, cures super fast, the other times it just doesn't cure at all. Getting some effect. Okay, front is getting cured, and now the back.
It's getting stickier, so we are getting something. Okay, it's not really that cured just yet, but at least it's standing on its own now, or is it falling forward? No, it's standing on its own. We just need it to cure well enough to just keep on standing on its own. So I can move it to the other big curing station. I think this is almost good enough to move it around very carefully. And it could be the resin itself that just refuses to cure that fast. Might be because it's very old. Okay. Very carefully moving it around. Do not drop it. Be careful. Be careful. Slightly to the side. it up on watch the glass and into the station go cure uh, that's all the resin i have to do for today which is nice by the way so let's put this to the side let's unplug my uv thingy so I won't be worried about that now. Let's see, we have a lot of things to sort. Let's see if I can do that here. I need to put some things to the side. I actually don't think I need this, but let's keep it just for a little bit longer. Clean up the palette. Even if it is a junky palette, always clean it. My eraser, which I don't need at the moment. I don't need my craft tweezers at the moment. It's even a little bit of skin tone over here. I'm probably going to make a mix with every little bit left. I think I can clean this up. Let's put this in here. Okay. I 
have a little bit of water, clean water. Doesn't have to be amazingly clean, but at least a little bit cleaner. This is just an old towel. So I'll just throw it into the washing machine next week or so. Probably doesn't look that messy from your uh, point of view, but trust me, it still is. But at least, uh, well, that, that's what it was made for, to have a clean desk underneath. Okay, now, um, first I need to get these off. Because I got myself a container for all my silicone stamps. And a few more arrived. So I need to sort that. And at the same time, I have more that I received. But unfortunately, they sent me a wrong stamp. Meaning... I can't process those just yet. I put all my stamps on silicon on the sheets and later on I will cut them out so I can uh, sort them more. And I have a few with the matching cutting die. Uh, do I put them with or without the cutting die in here? Is it with or without the foil? Oh, wait, it's on top. I put them in with, but I combine these, so. Try to make some sort of a organization, putting the same things together. And removing excess packaging. You can be tossed in your clean sheet. This one belongs with this set as well, and it also has a Matching cutting die. I also ordered a cutting die and a stamp and I got two of the same stamps. So I need to contact about that as well. But lately they say, just send it back. And I'm like, I don't want to send it back. Just give me a discount and we'll be done with it. So we'll see what comes from that. See, there's a lot of excess plastic here. So I will cut that away later on. So you can... Put them closer together. And some of my stamps no longer stick. Let's call it like that. Yep, there are indeed butterflies on here as well. I ordered more butterflies, so you'll see me sorting a few more soon enough let's see this is books and i will also put all the text together because i don't really 
expect to use the texts. Reading is dreaming with your eyes open. It's lit. Just one more chapter. Bibliophile. So many books, so little time. Life is story. It's a bit uh, too much. Okay, so I have... Um, I'm going to take the narwhal from here. Put these together. And let's see what others I got. Really, I got a lot of stamps, per usual, because I don't know how to keep it small. Let's first put these in the gift bag for the person they're supposed to be for. There we go, before I mix those up. Because I have a lot of extra stamps, of course. Even Christmas, but they're nice. Let's see, books. Needles. Let's sort them a bit. This pictogram, these little ones. I have quite a lot of little books. Moons and stars. Fairies. Let's put this with moon and stars. Even more pictogrammen. I think I can put the mushrooms with butterflies. Zodiac and stars can with, go with the moon. But the zodiac and stars. Animals. Let's put this with the pictogram. Bugs can go with the butterflies. Stars. Books. Stars. Yeah, this is pretty much nature. But... And these are cutesy people, even more cutesy people, this is an empty bag, this is mermaid but still cutesy people, and mermaids, let's put the mermaids with the narwhal, so that's this set, but I have to take a little break, so be right back. Do I have a BRB? Yes, I have a BRB.
sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Let's put this on. And the chat. Okay. First to the books. There's a lot of extra packaging. Th this isn't books. Put this over here. Wishing you happy days. Sure, thanks. It's just a lot of extra packaging that isn't needed. We'll save a few of those sheets because I have a few doubles. And then I can repackage those. Let's put a few together. I mean, I can also cut them out by hand, so that's not that much of an issue. But a nice clean cut is always better. Let's see, these, I don't have anything extra at the moment. Doesn't really stick that well, does it? So I might have to rethink my ID. Or put them in... Uh, Slip uh, things so they stay together a bit. And otherwise, I need to think of another way of sorting these. Okay. Oh, here's books. Well, that sheet is full anyway. This is more fantasy books. Where's the entrance? Here's the entrance. Books are magic made of paper and ink. Spellbound. I want to uh, make custom stickers for people who want to track their reading. And this is a book. And for some reason, a mouse that reads a book. Okay, that makes sense. A clock. Meh. A cat. Okay, we love cats. Uh, a seashell, a seashell, and those little Russian nesting dolls. No idea why. Makes no sense. Okay. Schmetterling. As they say in German, if I recall well. Figured bees might be nice as well. Just because. Be happy. And if I do put them into binder, slip, uh, in covers, whatever you want to call it, then I'm probably also going to put it all in the binder. So that way, I have it in the binder. These are all tiny stamps of bugs. So, probably 
next week or the week after I'm going to do another stamp sheet unboxing. Let's, let's call it like that. A lot of silicone on the front here. Quite a messy one. I just want to organize them so it's easier to see which ones I have to avoid getting even more doubles because I have quite a few double already. Probably gonna need a couple more sheets. Okay, mermaids. A lot of cute little mermaids. Waving hello. Sending you oceans of love. You mermaid to be awesome. A little mermaid. I think you're fantastic. Let's celebrate. I'm really not that into all those texts. Okay, and here we have. I just thought this one was very cute with a little boat. Has a crab, seahorse, dolphin, and a hammer shark. It's only partial, but. Now this needs to be like this. And then the narwhal can fit here. But unfortunately, Last Mermaid won't fit. But that's okay. And of course, the best friends doesn't stick. And otherwise, I'll just uh, go back wrapping them individually. That's also a possibility. You're sure you sure are sweet. But I like to think this takes less space than the uh, individual packaging. Somehow a hair of mine ended up here. Why? Where did you come from? I do know where you're gonna go. If I put this sideways. There we go. Thought these were adorable as well. These are a bit simple. They're cute as well. Bit emoticons. Bored, angry, happy, high, love it, over it, whoa, blah, sorry, surprise, and frazzled. here yeah, this is a bit too much have a girly good time sure
keep going, try again. You did it. Be fearless, work hard. Well done. Stay positive. Almost there. Happy time. You're amazing. Okay. I do like the simple ones. This is our song, your music to my heart. Oh, your music to my ear. Sorry, misread that one. And then I have two left. A lot of girls, very little boys, but I did manage to find two of them. Be your best, boys rock. Hey, dude, and this doesn't fit. See, that's why I want to cut them out, so they take up even less space. Let's grab some more sheets. Turn my Naga so she can cure from other sides as well. I have plenty of these plastic sheets. If I cut them up, all those empty spaces, these sides can be removed, and then hopefully I have more space. Let's get these out of the way. Finding the others is sometimes a puzzle on its own. Has a book, but also has a glue gun, marker, cutter. So it's a bit stationary. Well, that could be fun. Believe oneself. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's all going to fit in uh, this container. Got a lot of small stamps. Cutting out these won't be much of use. This one has a little scuba uh, glasses. Not sure if it's going to focus. Focus, not focus on the hand. This one, little scuba. Not sure. Oh, that's a car wash. Why is there a car wash in there? In the future, you'll be seeing me doing more with stamps. Oh, I already have a five star. That's nice. And I don't need to get another five star thing.
Okay, let's see how many I can fit on here. Probably three as well. Is there a way to? No, it's just. Since they're mostly the same size, there's not much you can do. Some stamps are quite thick. Others are, well, not thick, I guess. No. So it doesn't even fit on top of each other. I'm considering I bought all these. It works out best I can scan. A little scale on there. Little washing machine. And with some things, I have no idea what it's meant to be. This looks like an upside down uh, prosth uh, prosthetic leg. Makes no sense. Two for dentist. Heart. Yes, you know, you need one. Also washing machine. Um, how about I start turning these? This one has a bit bigger pictograms. Immediately nothing else fits, so let's put you like this. Uh, these are quite big. Shine, my star. But stars don't shine, they only reflect. These look like little bookmark stamps. Mushroom, you are a fungi. You are a fungi, you are a fungi, you are a fungi. R.A. Very 70. Nothing ever changed. There would be... Sylph? Sure. And I still have little experience when it comes to stamps, so it's going to be a journey. Got two sets of stamps for the Zodiac. And I really don't like those sun and moons with faces. But, you know, sometimes you just get those and then I can donate stickers to other people if I want to. And of course, potion bottle, always fun. Right. Um, this one's too big. I think this one could fit there. This is a Christmassy one. Different quality sticks a lot better. I really liked uh, the bells. Not sure what I'm going to do with the other ones, but you know, we'll see, we'll see. 
Last ones. Just a free left. Fairies. Love the wings. And moons, because I'm just a sucker for moons. And these are Christmas fairies. And I need a different box for this because this box is filled to the brim. And I still have more stamps on its way. A couple of stamps I also still need to order. And the last one is Hedgehogs. Just thought those were adorable. But this is going to be an... Oh, well, I tried it and now I need a bigger box. Let's see. You can be tossed. Can I use this? I don't think I can. There's not much maybe for the crafters. The pattern paper. <laughs> Okay, let's close the box for now. And put it back so it remains dust free. And let's put the paint back on. Barely fits, but a fit is a fit. Put the sheets back. I think my naka is pretty much done. Just turning it around one more time. Uh, let's see what else did I need to. Of course, I have other stamps. For example, I have this little stamp of Pikachu, but it keeps on distancing itself. I can toss these because I still have plenty left and I'll be getting new ones anyway. There we go. At least now it keeps on stand. And of course, I also have one for Squirtle, but there's still candy inside there. So once that one is finished, I will put it with these. Already had that to deal with Bulbasaur. I do have these stamps. Okay. This is my bag of grip bags. I gave a lot of them away. And of course, they return immediately. Okay. What else can I do on screen? Because I sorted my stamps. I think there's much more to do unless I can paint again. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. I see shouldn't be perfect. Uh, this one's close too. So I'm gonna grab the white paint. A special blend white paint. Ooh. You notice? The moment 
gets warmer, it'll open again. Okay, I do need to add a drop of glue in here. As soon as I know where I put my glue. Yeah. For now, this will work. This is a blend of white I once made, and it's very smooth. I have no idea how I made it. There we go. Uh, where's my rag? Okay, so... You can close. Okay, why you won't close? Okay, then let's grab some glue from over here. drop okay now let's Grab something, my pastelic. Mm, there's a light green in here. Considering green is a rare color in makeup palettes. Just adding a little bit of highlights. You can use old makeup for this. Once you actually have to toss because of health reasons. You have to be careful not to overdo it. This is very easy to overdo it. <laughs> but because this is textured paint, it adheres a bit better. So you have to be careful not to wipe this on a wet rag.
Okay, let's do it on the top of his nose. <laughs> it just brings a little bit extra life to your character. But if you use too much, well, you, you, yeah, I easily see that. That's not nice. The thing is, I don't have a dark green, if I recall well. All the palettes I have are the lighter colors. I don't think this will have a green, but let's check. No, this is mostly browns. Does this one have a dark green? I don't think it's very dark, but let's try it. Oh, this is a very dusty matte one. Need to be very careful with this one. No, that's not a nice color. Shame. That's pretty much the only other green I have. So let's add some blue. Again, use it very sparingly because... It's a very dominant color. Dark purple is also a nice one, by the way, so. Spread it well. You do see it's getting a little bit of extra depth. It's not just green blob anymore. You could use normal pastels, by the way. But these colors you can also use in resin. So it's a bit dual. And technically I'm going to use resin after this anyway, so. Okay, need to be very careful with this one. Make it too blue. I think I picked the, picked the wrong blue for this, but okay. It's on there. We've got to work with it now. little bit darker okay 
just a little bit of shading. And you only use very little, so if you have one palette, you can use it for a long time. Yeah, this one's clean enough. This has also uh, different brushes. This is a bit too big. And this one's also a bit too big, and well, this is very much too big. I mean, you know, sometimes you need big. Okay, so we need to wait for the white to dry. Um, let's see. I think I do want a green line. Because this green as well. Don't get it dirty. I think this is going to be too light. Yeah. Okay. This is not the right green. Not sure if I actually have the right green then. Um, I've got new markers. I think it's still going to be too light. Great. You shouldn't do that. I think I'm just gonna grab my old green. Where is my old green? Oh wow, there it is. That was easy. Yeah, this is slightly darker, not much. Let's see how it works out. Still need to do the side anyway, so just need to see how this turns out. Because the white toes are not dry yet anyway. I consider this the only use for acrylic markers, the lines. I believe Rex is for later in the year anyway. And of course, a lot of people love acrylic markers and work with them all the time. <sighs> I'm not one of those, unfortunately.
I'm not sure if I want to keep these uh, green lines. They're still quite light. As compared with this one. Ooh, need to be careful. Yep, <laughs> fell into the white. These markers are very juicy. Let's see if they are lighter or darker. I can fix the white. I don't worry about that. Because thus far it looks like pretty much the same green. Okay. So Rexy goes drying. And... Be careful with that. That's already dry on my hand. Um, it's time to get my sand. Ah. To be very oh, it's upside down. Whoopsie. <laughs> I believe this container was broken. It was. So I have to be very careful. I'm gonna grab a tray. Let's do it on a tray. Uh, where did I put that last black tray? No. No idea. Then we're we'll grabbing another tray. I have plenty of trays anyway. Uh. Let's keep the bag for a moment because I want to see if I can get the sand out of there. There's a green spatter of acrylic paint on my dress. I do not like that. I don't think I can fix that name. I think it doesn't wash out. So, well, that sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it anymore. out I actually need a spoon and I don't have a spoon and it sticks to silicone like crazy Sorry the container is in the way, but the container is broken, so I don't have much choice.
probably gonna need a couple of coats. And this is why I insisted on getting a full coating. Because this trend is sand is somewhat translucent. And now this needs to dry. I don't know how long this needs to dry. So I'll put it on my two day tray. So, uh, temporary result, we'll check back in a couple of days. Now, do I have a big container for, well, yeah, I do actually. Didn't intend it to use it for that, but this is sturdier. Okay, now my finger is stuck. Next time I need to wear an apron, a crafts apron. Okay. Let's put this into a non-broken container. It should fit. About equal size. Let's see if I can put some of it in here with my teeny tiny spoon. I actually need a brush. Sure, brush it all over. So that's pretty much all the sand I have. Oh, of course. Everything falls over again. And something is moving here. What are you? Not sure what kind of bug this is, but I'm gonna put it outside. This is not a good place for a bug to be. Yeah, outside. Now to grab my little vacuum. So I am going to mute for a moment, so you don't hear the vacuum.
Because with the glitter, sand goes everywhere. Need to clean my silicone brush. This uh, stick is. Eh, when it's dry, it's probably usable again. Container closed. This needs a damp cloth. That's the one downside of silicone mats. Everything sticks to it. Except painted figures, apparently. Cleaning up again. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do today on screen. Probably find sand the next three years. So I'll upload this on YouTube as well. And I'll be seeing you hopefully next week. Who knows? First day is. Uh, at the moment, clean up in storage uh, day. So I don't have much to do then. Saturday is clean up in the house. So I guess Sunday again. So I'll be seeing you. Bye bye.